yeah, we're talking about sea slugs again because they're freaking aliens. This is a blue dragon sea slug. They're one of the most well-known nudibranchs simply because they're so beautiful. They can be found throughout the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian oceans. The silver stripe that runs down their body actually acts as camouflage. They float upside down right against the surface of the water and that silver stripe helps them blend in with the light reflecting off of the water. And then the other side of their body is just blue which helps them blend into the water when things are looking at them from below. So they're protected from predators outside the water and in the water. If you ever see one of these in real life, your first instinct might be to pick it up or touch it. But I really would not suggest that. All those finger-like spines that are sticking off of them are highly venomous and they will cause extreme pain, nausea, and vomiting. This nudibranch is called Dirona alpavanita. They're found in the eastern Pacific Ocean all the way from Alaska to San Diego, California. They can get up to 7 inches long. They, like many other slugs, engage in something called penis fencing. Which is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a penis sword fight. And the rules are, first one to get stabbed with it has to carry the babies. This one is called a sea sheep and they're arguably the cutest nudibranch to ever exist. Just like the leaf slug that I talked about before, this nudibranch can also photosynthesize and make its own food and chlorophyll is what gives it its green color, just like plants. This gorgeous nudibranch is called Willens chromodorus. They can be found in the western Pacific Ocean and it looks like they have freaking jeweled blue crowns on their back. These guys are teeny tiny though and they range in color from a dark blue to white. This nudibranch is called Philodesmium magnum. Okay, these are a personal favorite. It looks like they're covered in tiny little purple magic mushrooms. Their colors change depending on the amount of zooxanthellae on them, which are tiny little photosynthetic organisms that contain chlorophyll. They have symbiotic relationships with a ton of marine animals and they can provide their hosts with up to 90% of their energy needs. And in return, they receive a free ride to access sunlight and they get carbon dioxide and nutrients.